Welcome everybody back to the 3L where it's all about living, learning, and listening. I'm Chad. If you're new here to the channel, welcome. Folks, right in the middle, as you know, of our weekend series. Can't wait to get into this. You guys saw the title. You know what time it is. This has been requested by several individuals. So without any further hesitation, let's jump into this song here. Living Eyes. Those children just staring open mouths, you know, just in amazement. And and I saw some of them mouthing along, like lip syncing the words to the song. It's obvious here the the Bee Gees impact on every aspect of society because their parents had to have played the records in their home. Otherwise, how do these kids even know, you know, the words to the song? So, you know, the those record players were spinning, folks. Those record players were spinning, and they're still spinning to this day. Um, that's the impact that the Bee Gees had on uh, all of us. And it's amazing to see the kids' reaction to this, you know, uh... I, I bet you guys feel the same way about me watching my reaction it, 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 it's kind of a a trickle down effect you know it's just like a domino effect it, it's amazing uh, but yeah they're just sitting there you know Indian style just soaking it all in wide eyes full of amazement <laughs> it's a beautiful thing living eyes Yeah. 
kind of a little emotional uh, at the end there just to see the it's like it, it was just a really really happier time folks back then you know you kind of really miss those times where you know people actually got along with each other had a good time um, enjoyed themselves nowadays everybody wants to quarrel and fight and disagree and you know I, I'm sure you know some of those kids it's something that they'll never forget I mean that memory is engraved into you know their thinking now they'll never that memory will never leave I mean they were there uh, they saw the Bee Gees sitting right in front of them playing the guitars singing to them I mean they were so close they could reach out and touch them if they wanted to I mean it's just uh, <laughs> and then the nice effect with you know uh, all the confetti and the balloons at the end they they were in heaven they they I'm sure they were in heaven and it's something that that will always be with them until the the day they die during that time I think it was 81 <laughs> I was just only like two or three years old at the time so I was you know I was born in the late 70s just yes I'm giving my age away but that's okay it's all good I don't care anyway um, yeah I was uh, maybe even a little bit younger than those kids there um, and I'm not sure uh, where this was recorded you know what part of the country or what country I don't know anything but uh, this is off their Living Eyes album. I believe that I did a, a reaction or two off of that album already. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. But this is from Living Eyes. That's the title of the song here. It's simply amazing. Thanks so much for this, folks. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> man, it just makes... After watching something like this, it just makes me wish that I would have had the opportunity myself to see them perform live. Some of you fans out there, you BG uh, fans and viewers and subscribers to my channel actually told me that you attended uh, one of their live concerts. That is so not fair. Just saying. That's so not fair. Some of you were there for the, you know, the disco era and was there for them singing uh, songs like You Should Be Dancing and you know, uh, probably big, huge hits like Staying Alive and things of that nature. Speaking of which, many of you have been um, bugging me about that song. Folks, the reason I've stayed away from that song, it, it's actually not just uh, out of ignorance. It's, it was for a purpose, okay? That song was the only BG song that I knew, okay? I didn't know much about the group before I started this reaction channel, okay? And they had played that song on Pandora and on the radio so much, okay? I knew that song, but I didn't know any of the rest of their material. But it wasn't until Too Much Heaven that I literally could see with my eyes that, you know, the performance, the, the harmony, the insane harmony with that and I instantly fell in love with the group but yeah I had heard staying alive just on over and over and over again so you know me doing a reaction to it it's kind of like I'm not giving you a fair assessment I'm not giving you a genuine reaction because honestly folks it wouldn't be a real reaction it would be more like just a sing-along okay you know, if you really want me to do Staying Alive, like a lot of other these channels do, you know, I'll do it. It's just that I really want to delve into some of their other catalog of music, songs that I haven't heard. You know, Staying Alive, everybody knows that song. I mean, even the people who don't really know what the Bee Gees are and what they represent and everything about them, they still have heard Staying Alive, I'm sure. Um... But anyway, if you guys want me to do it, I'll do it. Just let me know in the comment section, and I'll add it to my list. Um, 
Thank you so much for this request, folks, and taking me on this journey. You guys never disappoint. You, you, the 3L community, you guys are fantastic. You never disappoint me. You know, even even if I run into a BG song that's not, you know, uh, doesn't really have, a, a, you know, the effect on me that some of the other ones do, I still love the group just the same. You know, uh, they they still kill it with harmony, instrumentation, their vocal ability. It doesn't matter to the song, you know. They put 150, 200% in all their performances, and these guys are amazing. Thank you so much, folks. Until next time, take care.